Among Us, we have a new update. Oh, when is the airship coming out? We finally know, March 31st, that's awesome. All right, so Innersloth has this new update that was just posted 19 hours ago. Sorry for taking so long, but let's go through it. When's it dropping? March 31st, we know that. What's gonna be in this update? Well, it's gonna be free. It's gonna have all new tasks, the ability to pick the room you start in, ladders, which I think they mean by the mobility ladders. Um, check out the video below and a basic account system for moderation, which I think is the actual biggest takeaway here. And of course, you have a few new hats for being so patient. Um, that would be good. So they wanna be as transparent as possible with the process, which is good. To be honest, I don't think they've been the most transparent. If you go onto the Among Us official uh, Twitter account, you notice that they actually posted an update on the 6th of March about the new quick chat feature, which is good. And then on the 7th of March, they said, oh, they're fixing some black screen bugs. They changed the age gag from 18 plus to 13 plus, some desync issues. Then they gave an update on March 8, which is awesome. And then March 9, they said long ago, our four platforms lived in harmony. Then everything changed when the update attacked. And they talked about the Monday bug updates. Um, but since then, since March 9, some artwork, some nice lime artwork. Oh, March 13, sorry for the silence this week, focusing on bug fixes. And then, some more artwork and memes, memes, memes. And then finally, one week later, um, a substantive post about when the airship is coming. So I have a lot of people on my channel asking when are the bugs gonna be fixed? Well, let's hope they get fixed in this update because it doesn't seem like there will be an update between now and the 31st of March. So let's get started. Why did the map not get released ASAP? Well. We've gone into this uh, before, but we'll read it again. Um, essentially, they're saying they didn't expect it to be as popular as it was, and it's not as simple as just creating one map and throwing it on PC. It has to be cross-platform as well. Um, they're dealing with a lot of issues with maintenance at this time because they have to deal when servers go down, reports of hackers, etc. And these are high priority items that they need to focus on before releasing new updates. Um, a lot of people also ask, why don't they just hire a ton of people? Well, they wanna keep the close studio dynamics. Uh, they have a team of five at the moment. This isn't like EA games, for example. And so hiring itself can be a distracting process. Um, and having to deal with a lot of things at once can um, be, very distracting. And so they've kept the group of five because it's small and cozy, uh, which is fair enough, but they have brought on outside um, groups to help. For example, they have their own legal team and their own accountant and HR now, which thank goodness they do because I can't imagine having to do legal and accounting and HR within this group of five beforehand. And they have someone else dealing with the merch and the switch platforms, which is awesome. They have a lot of meetings, a lot of updates. They have to deal with legal about fake Among Us merch. Please don't buy it. Report it if you see it um, to the Among Us um, staff. But they have to protect their intellectual property, which is 100% fair enough. And then they talk about the actual airship map. There's programming tasks, which are probably one of the easiest aspects of it. I mean, they pr pretty much had it because it was the leaked uh, Nintendo Switch uh, map. There's also the issue with approvals. They have to get approvals from um, the consoles they're on, Xbox, Switch, etc. And this is the uh, meat of the issue, which is accounts and priorities. The most important thing for us when Among Us blew up was to ensure safety, moderation, and reporting. That being said, they were very much aware that there was still a moderation problem they needed to tackle and it became a priority. So a proper moderation system is one that is extremely difficult and time consuming. So it's not as easy as just having a report button. Um, they need to consider things like servers that accounts are hosted on. Accounts need to be hosted on servers. What servers, where, how do you ensure they are safe and the accounts don't get hacked? Privacy, do, you, do your terms of service of accounts follow privacy guidelines? Are they respectful of personal information? Legal, are accounts complying with laws from all around the globe? Moderation, what should be able to be reported? How much is handled by algorithms? When it comes to moderation, there is a lot of nuance. And when should things be sent to a human? How can you prevent false reports, etc., etc.? Programming, well, someone has to make the system happen. I feel like a lot of these issues are dealt with by plenty of games with a reporting system, but I understand how it has to be tailored to Among Us specifically. And because of these considerations, um, accounts ended up taking much longer than expected. It might've been possible to 
um, launch the airship before their accounts, but they didn't want to do that uh, because they didn't want to pretend there were no issues with toxicity. And so they wanted to bundle it together, which is fair enough. Um, and so bugs and quality, while the map was finished, it had some completely unacceptable bugs. Um, they wanted to make sure they fixed the biggest ones, which is good. And so did we read it all? Yeah. Thank you for being proud of me. Thank you so much, Victoria and Innersloft team for providing an update. If you want to check them out, please see their tw uh, social links for Twitter, TikTok, and Discord here. Otherwise, make sure you hit that subscribe button to find out our immediate thoughts as soon as the map comes out.